be able to do some really weird sort of writerly and performance-focused sketches. I think there were more sort of old-fashioned individual tour de force sketches this season that we were able to do during an election year. Saturday Night Live's 44th season featured plenty of politics. It ripped on the Mueller report, the Cohen testimony, the Kavanaugh hearing, and it seemed like every week Alec Baldwin was back to do his thing. But in between these almost obligatory current event sketches were a higher than usual number of weird and daring skits that stayed away from politics altogether. Vulture spoke with several writers from the SNL writers room to get the story behind some of their favorite weird sketches from the season. You do know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. <laughs> Good night. One of the writer's favorite sketches from this season was Romano Tours, featuring Adam Sandler in his first return to the show in 24 years. In the sketch, Sandler plays a tour guide who urges potential customers to understand that his tours of Italy can't cure their deep emotional issues. If you're sad now, you might still feel sad there, okay? <laughs> you understand? That makes sense? If I go on vacation, I'm not a fun person, and then go on vacation and be like, I don't, I had a bad time. And it's like, it's not the vacation's fault. I went somewhere with no plans by myself and then stayed in the hotel room. Writers meet with the host, and we pitched it to Adam. He's a very kind and thoughtful and introspective guy. Yeah, he pitched the line, um, a day is a long time to feel happy for all of it. Most of us get 45 minutes, if we're lucky. It was clear that the sort of sweet, sad energy of it is so right for him. Even when the sketches this season were parodying pop culture, they took a distinctly weird approach. Like in co-head writer Kent Sublette's sketch, House Hunters. It's a surreal version of the show where every house the couple views is stranger than the last. What about the invisible house with the cat on the roof? <laughs> and it was invisible. As I recall, that was something that I wrote Wednesday morning. We had our table read uh, around three or four on Wednesdays. And I The show also revisited a fan-favorite weird sketch with Bodega Bathroom, which was a follow-up to season 43's Diner Lobster. The sketch is a bizarre musical theater parody about using the bathroom at a bodega in New York. Who can sell you condoms? <laughs> An Arizona iced tea? A Lucy cigarette and plantain chips? The Bodega Man can! <laughs> With the 2020 election already taking over the news cycle, it's a fair assumption that SNL will focus more narrowly on its political coverage this coming season. But if season 44 is any indication, there will probably still be plenty of weirdness mixed in with the presidential debates and congressional hearings.